Good morning. It is January 1st. That means I'm in a new chapter. So I'm in chapter Genesis, uh, 37 of Genesis and Psalms. And uh, I am um, chapter 7 of Matthew. So this is like all this stuff. So uh, in Matthew... This is where, chapter 7, this is the difference between Jesus in the uh, New Testament and everything else in the Old Testament. So in the New Testament, he says, chapter 7, um, the golden rule. Do unto others as you have them do unto you. This fulfills the the laws and the prophets. Okay. So what is that? That's 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 empathy. Okay. Talking to people the way you'd want to be talked to. Okay. Now some of us, if we're doing wrong. We wanted to be, you know, we want to be talked to right. Sometimes being talked to right is stern enough that you actually pay attention. All right. Then in, uh, in Genesis, this is where, um, Joseph has a dream. Well, first he tells on his brothers. He's the youngest one. And he gives them a bad report to their father. And then they start not liking him. Then he has a dream that the sun, the moon, and all the stars bow down to him. And everybody, his dad and everybody, uh, rebuke him. His dad rebukes him. And his brothers are like, you know. And then Jacob sends him out. To check on his brothers. They went somewhere. They weren't supposed to. And they see him coming. And they plot to kill him. And then Reuben. Says don't kill him. You know. We'll just put him in the cistern. And uh, he was going to rescue him. But they see. Um, some Ishm Ishmaelites. Their cousins coming by. And they sell him to their cousins. And then their cousins sell him to the Egyptians. Okay. And then, which is very interesting, uh, in Psalms, it's like I told you. That's what David's doing. He's identifying who the unsavory people are gives us all the indicators and how to, you know, knowing who they are. Talks a lot about the fruit and the tree. You can tell them by the fruit and the tree. So I remember I was reading earlier in Psalms, talking about, you know, the, the, the cedars of Lebanon. The axe, this is really funny. The axe would be laid to the root of the tree. And I'm like, what do the trees mean? And this one pastor's like, what, is, what do the cedars mean? They're trees. I'm like, oh well, yeah, that's kind of obvious, right? And uh, then later on, the apostles talking about trees represent leaders. And you can tell if they're a good leader or a bad leader by the fruit that they bear. Well, where does he get that from? Right here. Matthew, right? See, here's what Jesus came to do. Jesus came to unlock the mystery of the scripture. Jesus came to correct what was distorted. Distorted by the... Um, the 
Um, oh, who is it? The uh, Edomites that actually were running Israel. Right. They took over. Um, both Herod, King Herod, and um, uh, Caiaphas were Edomites. Ooh, right. Okay. There you go. Foxes run, run in the hen house. <laughs> right. Foxes watching the hen house, right? So, so he knew this. And the way things were distorted by the word, the way the word was being taught, he was there. He was he he came to correct. Okay, and says so that's going on to this day. All right, and when you understand the symbolism, and when you understand the Hebrew meaning, this all gets unlocked to you. The, the you. The mysteries of the scriptures get opened up. All right, and that made, and I had to be binging this, the Old Testament, getting this teaching, all all this, to realize what I'm telling you. All right, have a great Sunday, Happy New Year.